Okay, in this example, we're given this graph and we're told to find these various values, values of the function and limits at various points. First, take a look at the graph and note that we have a section of curve along here with an open circle right there at negative 2 and this point plotted right there. And then note we have this section of curve here with an open circle at this end and a closed circle at that end and then an open circle here beginning this final section of the curve. And we're not told that this is an asymptote. We aren't given a, a dotted line there. This piece of the curve may continue on to the right. We just don't know. But we're given enough information on this graph to answer these questions. First of all, f of 3, the value of the function at x equals 3. Well, at x equals 3, we take note of the fact that we have a closed circle right there. So this open circle here doesn't really matter. It's this point right there at x equals 3. And that's that corresponds to a y value of 3. So f of 3 is 3. Then the limit as x approaches 3 from the left. As we approach 3 from the left, we're moving along this section of the curve, getting closer and closer to a y value of 3. So the limit as x approaches 3 from the left is 3. Then the limit as x approaches 3 from the right, if our x values are gradually getting closer and closer to 3 from the right, that corresponds to moving along this section of the curve toward this point, which is at a y value of 2. So the limit as x approaches 3 from the right is 2. Then the limit as x approaches 3 does not exist. If the left side limit and the right side limit are different, then the, the limit at, as x approaches 3 does not exist. Now let's do some similar reasoning for an x value of negative 2 over here. f of negative 2. What's the value of the function at negative 2? It's not this because there's an open circle. It's this because that point is plotted right there. And that's a y value of 3. So f of negative 2 is 3. Now the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left, if we get closer and closer to negative 2 from the left, that corresponds to moving along this section of the curve, getting closer and closer to this y value right there at 1. So the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left is going to be 1. And as x approaches negative 2 from the right, we're moving along this section of the curve, approaching that point from above, but it's still a y value of 1. So the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right is 1 in this case. And then the limit as x approaches negative 2 is just 1. The left and right side limits are the same. They both exist, and they're the same. And so that is the limit as x approaches negative 2. Here's another example involving a piecewise function. We're told that f of x is equal to x squared when x is less than or equal to 2, and 2x minus 3 when x is greater than 2. And the goal here is to graph the function and discuss the limit at x equals 2. And you notice that x equals 2 is the point of note in this function. That's where the definition of the function changes. It's one thing when x is less than 2 and another thing when x is greater than 2. So this is where the interesting behavior occurs in this particular function. So let's go ahead and graph this. We'll graph x squared, which is a parabola, and we're going to graph that, but only when x is less than or equal to 2. And we know this parabola goes through 0, 0, and 1, 1, and it goes through the point 2, 4, and it goes through the point negative 2, 4. So it's a parabola like this, and it goes on up here, but it doesn't go on up over here. It stops right there at that point, because we're only graphing x squared when x is less than or equal to 2. And then it's this function, 2x minus 3, if x is greater than 2. I'll switch colors here. 2x minus 3, this is a line 
and it has a y-intercept of negative 3, so down here, and then a slope of 2. So it looks like, so it's going to look like this. Go through these points, and I'm going to put an open circle here. Have it go up there. If you want to draw in the whole line, you should make it dashed, because the function doesn't really exist at these points down here. It exists at these points there, where x is less than 2. So this is my function, this parabola, which stops right here, and then this ray, which goes on in that direction. And we want to discuss the limit at this point, x equals 2, where the definition changes. Well, the limit at x equals 2 does not exist. The left and the right limits both exist, but they are not equal. So the limit at x equals 2 does not exist. So let's write that. Let's write the limit of this function as x approaches 2 does not exist. But it does make sense to describe the behavior of the function at x equals 2 in terms of one-sided limits. So we can talk about the limit as x approaches 2 from the left. And in this case, the limit as x approaches 2 from the left is 4. The limit as x approaches 2 from the left is 4. And it makes sense to talk about the limit of this function as x approaches 2 from the right. And as x approaches 2 from the right, we're moving along this curve. And we're getting closer and closer to a value of 1. So the left and right limits both exist, but they're not equal. So the limit does not exist.